Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Books and Betches, not to be confused with Books and Allegiance. <laughs> I'm Kristen, and with me I have Erica. And Maria, hi. Erica is gone. Episode eight of a day. Eight. We've recorded eight episodes today. I think today. it's eight, right? And Erica's getting ready to have a baby in like two weeks. By Poor the time Erica. you're listening to this, she's, she's already would, got oh, she's, one. She's deep in mommyhood. No, this is nine. This is nine of the day. So I don't blame you for saying Allegiant as your intro. I don't blame you. It was bad. It was not good. So we, if you can't tell, this is our Allegiant episode. Um, This is our movie specific podcast. Usually we do books, but today we're doing a movie. We swear we spoil. We talk about sex. We're going to spoil this movie and probably the entire series because this is the last movie. Last movie we got. Because they didn't fucking finish the series. I can't tell you how upset I am that I watched two, three movies, and, and there's no not end. even a fourth. And I don't even get how this one ends. This movie sucked. Yeah, I'm just gonna say really it. Bad. I'm just gonna say it off the bat. This movie this fucking movie sucked. Bad. I wonder if the books are just as bad. Well, no, people love the books. People didn't like how it ended. Yeah. Okay. So Allegiant. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. We're talking about the movie, this podcast. We're not talking about the book. So do not get mad at us if some things are off or some things are wrong. Blame it on the director of the movie Allegiant. Blame it on the writers. Honestly, they should be shamed anyway. Oh um, <laughs> Shailene Woodley won a Movie Choice Actress Award. Uh, movie Choice? Movie? Is that like choice an MTV? Movie? Choice Movie Award? A Choice Award. It's just a Choice Award. Isn't the Choice Awards like Teen MTV? Teen Choice Award. Yeah. yeah teen cho- I don't- Say less congratulations um okay did it so am i bitter maybe a little because Uh, i i truly hated this movie yeah it was bad erica are you gonna do the 60 seconds she is if you have not listened to our previous two um divergent is that the name of the series if you haven't listened to our previous two divergent movie episodes i highly recommend it Erica did the 60 second for the last one. And it's probably insurgent. It's it's one of the funniest ones. Got to be the worst one that we've ever done. Um, So if you're new to this podcast, we attempt to do this thing where we explain the entire plot summary of a book or a movie in 60 seconds or less. Erica, you're going to do it this week for Allegiance. Allegiance or Allegiant? Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense since they're all divergent. Whatever. Detergent. Um, All right, Erica, are you ready? No. When was the last time you watched this? Did you rewatch it? Uh, you had one no, job. I definitely just scrubbed it for us. We talked about this. You said, I don't it. remember it. I've seen it, but I don't remember it. I'll rewatch it. You told us you would. I know, and I didn't. You fucking liar. <laughs> you filthy. You dirty little liar. <laughs> so this I was hoping we just wouldn't do it. This is going to be the worst <laughs> 60 second, and I'm here for it's it. It's not good. Okay. It's not going to be good. Erica, in three, two, one, go. Basically, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> There's there the the people who were in in with the coup with Janine's coup, uh, go on trial. <laughs> go, you got this, you got this. You they go it. on trial. She does it. They fucking do it. <laughs> light those bitches up. There's a whole another coup that's trying to take over. We're already across the wall. We're in Chicago. <laughs> we're we are. Yes, yeah. We're in fucking Chicago. Go. Why are you laughing? I, just go on. We got what's what's his face is the new bad big bad guy, but he's like trying to be good. Shane Lee with Tris is like working with him to like try to see what's up about like their bodies and their composition. Fifteen seconds. And then she figures out that he's been lying to her this whole time that like that he's not telling the truth. And then they're pissed off. And then five. Yeah. (laughs) Everyone gets mad Three, and they leave. Two, one. I'm <laughs> crying. Everyone gets mad and they leave. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. My cheeks hurt from laughing. Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit. Erica, come Is on. Is the worst one? Erica, no. Gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I nothing will be as bad it's as saying the, the whole one. wrong book. You can't top that. But it's top five. <laughs> it's up there. It's the. Yeah, it, I well, think this one might be even worse than the Rubik's Cube. I just, I think, you know what's funny? I think she just gave up before she started. She did. So I knew. She that's did. That's why it's funny to me because she's yeah. like, ah. So <laughs> if you haven't seen this movie, take everything you heard and <laughs> throw, throw it out the window. <laughs> I definitely hit on the major points. She did. She you did. absolutely did not. She did. You talked just about. Not in the order you thought she was. You talked so slowly <laughs> about one thing. <laughs> You talked about 
because we were in Chicago. You said the and same you guys thing for sixty it. seconds. <laughs> you always try to blame it on us because you guys distract me. You said they were in Chicago when I went. <laughs> oh no! And you it's lost your fault. you lost your mind because I breathed the air. You lost your mind. Yeah. Okay. So, to be honest with you, I don't know how, what this movie's hurts. about. I do. It was so confusing. It was really confusing. It was nothing like the other There's two. There's no, no real no. plot line That's here. The thing. You're right. I know what it's about because it's about nothing. It makes no sense because they're trying to add a lot of things together. Honestly, this could have just been a duet. Yeah. Or duology. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that it's like even three to four movies, well, trying to be four, is ridiculous. It just didn't make sense. The main thing is... Tris and team leave um, leave Chicago. Well, not Chicago, but they leave their little bubble. Mm-hmm. And they go through, and there's this wall thing, and they go into this this other city that are the ones that have been watching them. It's the fucking Chicago them. O'Hare Airport. Yeah. Tris is learning about how they're all in an experiment, essentially. And the council is in charge of getting more funding to this dude, the guy from 101 Dominations, <laughs> uh, giving him, I think his name, what's his name, Dave? I don't even know. Jeff Daniels? Is that his, is that his Was name? that Jeff Daniels? That yeah. His? Really? Yeah. Well, that oh. guy. Yeah. Um, he, I guess, is the head of this experiment. Like, uh, how did uh, that happen? I don't know. How did he become the head honcho? I don't know. He just I don't is. get it. He just is. And so uh, the council... She's like, we need more. Trish is like, we need more money to help people. Like, um, just give him the funding so he can he can help all this this whole experiment, quote unquote. And the council's like, well, he's always had this. He's always in charge of this. Like, we're not the ones that in charge of that sector. He is. And so Trish realizes that yeah, Jeff Daniels' character is a dick, and like you manipulated me, all this stuff. And so then she sort of double crosses him, and leaves to go in back into Chicago. To sort of fix the problem that's happening because in Chicago, um, what's her face's dad? No, yeah. what's his face's da- uh, mom? Naomi Watts, uh, like Four's mom, rebellion. is starting a rebellion against the Allegiance. They call themselves the Allegiance, the ones that are, are um, I can't remember her name, but Octavia, yeah. Yeah. Davis character. Uh, she's like, I just, we just want to coexist fine. We're yeah. called the Allegiance for that. We just want to, you know, everything just be chill, be chill. Mm-hmm. We don't have to kill these people who were part of Janine's thing. Let's just, you know, start fresh. Mm -hmm. And uh, so her sector and Naomi Watts' sector sort of fight or are about to start a whole war. Like that side of things made perfectly fine sense to me. Whatever. The outside the wall made no sense. It felt like it was a whole new. The story just didn't make any sense. And then they're trying to show flashbacks and all this stuff. And I'm like, I still don't get it. Yeah. And also that they're stealing children in the middle of it. It's all weird. I feel like I get a decent amount of things. Like I try really Mm -hmm. hard to understand Mm -hmm. shit. I tried so hard to understand Mm -hmm. this movie and I could not. Mm -hmm. Also, this movie or the story is Maze Runner meets the Hunger Games. Mm. At least in the Maze Runner, they had runners. So people who would go outside the wall try to figure it out map it out and things like if this happened in real life there's no way humans wouldn't be curious enough to go see what's outside the wall Mm -hmm. like the fact that they're just existing in this area all willy-nilly fine and dandy and not even like trying to understand what's out there is insane to me Mm -hmm. and like I, i don't know i just i guess i don't understand the whole reason for everything like i get that they're because they start telling us about we see like the old days so it was like the divergent are actually genetically modified humans, right? Mm-hmm, essentially. So they existed. War broke out mm-hmm. because that's bad. Mm-hmm. I agree. That shouldn't be a thing. Then uh, this is where everything gets so confusing to me. What? Who built the wall? Why did they do that? I get it was an experiment, but how was that allowed? They were trying how to did come, you get the people were, to go in the experiment without, like, what? It doesn't make sense. I think they got them from the fringe. I think that stolen children are, like, yeah, the ones Yeah, but then that, they also have that, like, serum that, like, makes people forget shit. So they so. take the kids from the, the this call, I think it's called the fringe, right? Okay. Which is this sort of wasteland this area. This wasn't clear to me. It doesn't make sense. It, yeah. It's honestly added for no reason. Yeah. Uh, so they take those kids to sort of give them a better life. 
mm-hmm. and they erase their memories. And then the technology on the other side of the wall made no sense to me. Yeah. They just basically, it felt like they took everything they could in sci-fi and mm-hmm. in this like genre and threw it at a fucking mm-hmm. wall. Mm-hmm. They're like, this will be cool. Let's add this. I think I it think, was weird. I think it felt like we were entering a whole new story, a whole new book. Oh, it was completely different, different than both of the other things mm-hmm. combined, which mm-hmm. like to me made absolutely no sense. Mm hmm. So I didn't. There was a lot that I didn't. And it understand. felt weird that they were, they've all been watching them. Like, like, they go it almost like, felt like been, it should have just ended with Janine like dying. Janine's storyline. Yes. Yeah. The duology. You know? that's also, it. like Janine's whole thing didn't even like matter in the end yeah. because there's a bigger picture yeah. anyway. Yeah. Like she was not even just like a blip. Yeah. 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 It felt like we had two movies for no reason. I agree. I still don't understand where the story is going. I honestly have I no think idea, he's still from the cliffhanger we got. What was really how did it end? It ended with Tris sort of like breaking down the wall kind of thing, or she and they're oh going yeah. on there back to the and the, she's back in her regular Chicago and she's like, you can see us and but we can't see you, but we don't care. Like we're we're gonna live our lives over here. We're gonna we're gonna make our city ours okay. kind of thing. Okay. Who cares what what you're doing? But these people from the outside can be. There's like a whole surveillance system and they're watching them this entire time. Like there's a Truman Show. Yeah. Um. So, this this next movie was supposed to get made, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the fourth movie didn't. And then they were like, oh, we're going to make it a, a TV show. It never Wait, happened. Wait, really? Though. And then it never happened. Oh, yeah. that would have been a horrible TV show. Yeah. Also, uh, my biggest question throughout all of these is where the fuck does Tris get hair dye? Because, like, she dyes her hair, and it's like, where's that coming from? There's no way they have access to hair dye. And they do. How? They make them. They like, have a market. They like have, I think they still have stuff in there. I don't know, man. That made no sense. It's to not me. as a wasteland as we think it is. Well, the other side of the she walls. definitely looked way better this movie. I still don't like the hair. <laughs> she looked better. It looks stiff. She looked better than it did. The hair it looks, looks like stiff. a helmet, but yeah. Four's mom could literally be Four's girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. They are the same fucking age. Yeah. Uh, you can't convince me otherwise. There was a Twilight running scene on the wall. Did you notice that? There was like they're running up the wall and it straight up looks straight out of like oh yeah it looks terrible <laughs> I was like hey it's them on the, the treadmill CGI in this was horrendous it was really bad horrendous really bad Listen. oh when he shoots he like fake shoots the brother so in the beginning mm-hmm. of the movie four brings out what's the brother's name I always fucking forget Caleb Caleb something like Caleb? that he brings him out and then they're they're like trying to break him out of there right and the guy the bad guy is like chasing them and then four throws him oh, in a yeah, ditch yeah, yeah, and shoots him and pretends to shoot him you think no one's what gonna confirm the bad kill? guy come over and be like oh wow you Let killed him that that made me the most mad and that was yeah. the beginning of the movie yeah. so i was like i'm i'm out i was mad at all the cg and how i was like was. i'm fucking out but yes in in retrospect the story makes absolutely no fucking sense to me I have it's no idea where any of it's going. They, they stopped. We, I wish like, we this was such a box office bomb. It yeah. made um, 179 million, but its a bus- budget was 142. Oh, damn, that's so bad. They, I wonder, like, no how profit. did? Oh, that's really bad. I didn't even that's know. No one that didn't make a fourth. Yeah, that makes sense. But wasn't the second one not great either? Like, what even made them? It wasn't good. Make a third. They should have just stopped there. Well, okay. I have notes from Mike. Do we oh, want to get into them? Yeah. Let's, let's, so let's round this out fast. Our <laughs> last, yeah, this is going to be a quicker episode. Um, our last few movie episodes, I've explained this, but Mike has been providing us with notes that I have not read at all um, until right now. So I'm learning this as you are. Here is Mike's Divergent. Uh, Legion. Janine is dead, right? That was a good question. Why is Four's mom calling the shots at the trials? Ford pretends to shoot Triss's brother. Nobody texts. I'm glad he said that. Um, where did the fake orders come from? Why is every third guy hot to Kristen? <laughs> and why does she feel the need to say it? I'm sorry, babe. Oh, I say one girl's attractive and we change movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious and true. When they blew up the generator for the wall's electric fence, how are you going to shoot someone in a keep as the drive around but you can't hit a non-moving target in the open field oh yeah the the jeep like jumps over them it was a very it it was really weird why would that one jeep drive at the exploding generator how that jeep get through the wall that's a very good question a very good question when the other other side of the wall the jeep comes through is there a way to open it it for them no because they killed it with a generator they literally killed it they shot the generator and blew it up so that the wall would um 
not like zap them or something. Mm-hmm. So that means that the wall's down, like not down, but like it won't mm-hmm. open. Mm-hmm. So how the fuck did the Jeep get out there? That's a, a solid just Good question. Point. Doesn't matter. Definitely mm. didn't see that one. Everyone is damaged. I don't know what that means. Genetic editing question mark. Why wouldn't they just go save the people that'll mold their future if it was that vital? Why are they trying so hard to fix people? Mm-hmm. Memory tabs really feels like it's a fake movie. Yep. You s- saved a city. Now why don't you go save the world? He put in quotes. The creepy dude working for David doesn't give away that they're all evil. The surveillance overlay is complete garbage. <laughs> that crash landing couldn't have been at a milder slope. How come every time someone crashes, there is barely any scratches and some heavy breathing? They just sprint 100. Me- they just sprinted 100 meters. <laughs> Tris can't drive, smashes that aircraft into the ground, is completely unscathed. I also had that note. That's my issue with Wonder Woman. Yeah, I could see that. The gas is staying on the floor where the main characters are, but not everywhere else, question mark. Yeah. When Trish shot that serum, why did it feel like an episode of Power Rangers when they defeat the bad guy? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and his last note is, so is that area beyond the wall actually, actually radioactive? Bunch of people walk through it unscathed. Yeah. There's so many moments it where you're like blood and you're like bad. Yeah. But oh. then it's fine. Who the fuck is the script supervisor is what I want to know, mm. because there's so many plot holes and so many th- fucking stupid things in this. The movie. producer blamed Lionsgate for like breaking this up into two movies. Mm. Mm. But it's like, I don't know how that would have fixed anything. Mm. I think what you see here is just, um, movies and books not translating well into one another and that like you really do have to edit down like there is a reason why things don't happen in movies that happen in books yeah when you do adaptations yep. things need to be removed because they just don't work you have to on edit screen. make it work for screen yep. it just do- and like i i like there was some stuff like in the harry potter books that like people were mad were not in the movies and it's just like you can't always get all of these storylines and these subplots and these like sideline things all in here mm-hmm, and i think mm-hmm. that that's what happened with allegiant is mm-hmm. like they stretched it so they had to fill it yeah and with mm-hmm. the fill it it they added probably added in all of the shit that you would normally take out of an yep. adaptation yep. Mm-hmm. yep that's fair um i think that's the most poignant thing that you could say about this movie yep. yeah 100 percent. i think that in the end everything else sucks this shit made no sense nope i'm upset that we're not gonna finish it but we know what happens in the end we know that fucking tris, tris, tris dies. dies so all of this was pointless tris anyway. dies and four gets with her friend no fucking You're way di- uh, christina no. <gasps> oh no A horrible ending there was no chemistry no between code. them and no and reason. somebody said somebody wrote in and said the this book essentially switches between a couple of near uh perspectives perspectives, perspectives. and so four when she dies she when goes, she they dies go with they go with four's force. perspective oh god you can't see it i'm gonna roll my so, eyes anyway tell us where you want us to go next yeah we're done with allegiant we're so, done is there another like movie series that's book should we do maze runner because i love i don't maze think runner. maze runner was finished either yeah we are you do, fucking we kidding me seriously yeah i think they only did two movies for maze runner no there's three I think I'm two. pretty positive. We'll find out afterwards. Okay. Um. Anyway, that was it. Quick and easy. It made no sense. That's my two cents. Um. Thank you, everybody. We only finished <laughs> it because you wanted us to. So. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for listening to this episode. And we appreciate you. We love you. Follow us on Instagram, books underscore and underscore betches, B-E-T-C-H-E-S. Um, click the link tree. There'll be things. You can go subscribe to us on YouTube and all those fun things. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.